Hey everybody! I know it's been a while since I've uploaded here, so I hope you guys have been keeping well and hope you had a lovely holiday season and also Happy New Year! I figured we could kick off this new year by doing some plant shopping. My husband and I have been living in our new place for about seven months now and and as expected, some of my plants didn't really take too well to the transition when we were moving, so we have lost a few along the way. So I figured it was time to find some replacements for those plants, and I wanted to take you to two of my favorite nurseries in the GTA today. Now, I don't exactly have any particular plants in mind that I want to find. I do know that I want to find some air plants because I did lose a few air plants, and the containers that I used to have them in are looking a little bare, so I think it'd be nice if we got some fresh, green, not-so-dead air plants. <laughs> Other than that, I think I'm just gonna see what speaks to me. I kind of want to challenge myself to get different plants because I feel like I always fall back into getting very basic plants like a pothos or a ZZ plant because I just love the green foliage that they have. And there's totally nothing wrong with those plants. Those are some of my favorite plants, but I think it's time for me to push my comfort zone a little. So without further ado, let's go plant shopping. Our first stop is Angus Farm and Nursery. This place is recognized as the last working farm in Toronto. They have an apple orchard and even produce their own honey. But what I love them for is their massive house plant selection. Like, look at all these freaking plants. And the succulent section, are you kidding me? They have a very healthy bunch of these variegated string of pearls. However, I've bought two in the past and managed to kill both of them. So as much as I'm tempted to get a third, it's probably for the best that I don't, even though they look really cool. I was also low-key tempted to get a citrus tree, but again, I've also killed a few of those in the past. But look at these little baby fruits, they're so adorable. If you're looking for rare plants, then Angus is a great spot to find that sort of thing. I've never really been one for collecting rare plants, so I don't really know much about the value of these plants and whether or not they're priced fairly. But if spending a lot of money on a singular plant isn't really your thing, Angus also has this clearance section. These discounted plants usually just need a little TLC, so if you're keen on rehabilitating plants, then definitely check out this section. Our second stop is Sheridan Nurseries. One thing I love about this place is their indoor koi pond, which normally also has turtles in it. Usually they're hanging out by this heat lamp, but I think they might be put away for the winter. I also love their cacti and succulent section. I think they've got some really funky looking plants. Although for some reason I'm drawn to this guy, which is kind of plain looking, but it's a good size and for $10, why not? They've also got carnivorous plants, which I always think look super cool, but I don't know if I would ever actually buy one. And beside those guys are a ton of air plants, which are definitely on my to buy list. I wish I had space in my home to fit all of these massive tropical plants. Like, we did move into a bigger space, but it's still a condo in Toronto, so I still have to limit how many plants I can have. At least the large ones, anyways. On the opposite scale of that, I don't know why, but this philodendron birkin in this tiny little pot is so amusing to me. It's kind of weird that there's this larger one for only a dollar more, but I'm wondering if they pruned the other one so that it only has variegated leaves because this one has a lot more of its plain beginner leaves. Overall, when I walk through Sheridan Nurseries, it kind of feels just like I'm in a big tropical setting with all of these luscious, bushy, leafy plants. And like, that's just how I'm trying to live my life. I'm back at home now, and uh, full disclosure, I haven't figured out my filming setup in our new place yet, but I figured this spot in our living room would be nice for now because we have this lovely shelf full of plants behind us. But anyways, enough of that, let's get into the plant haul. Starting off with something not super exciting, I got a bag of cactus soil because I need cactus soil. I also got a bunch of seeds for our indoor vegetable garden. I actually filmed a video at the end of the summer last year where I was setting up my indoor growing system. Basically, I bought a shelving unit off of Facebook Marketplace so that I could have a spot for all of my grow lights to sit on. And I've just been growing some small stuff like herbs and lettuce and also have uh, some of my succulent propagations under those lights. But my husband and I recently ordered a indoor hydroponic gardening system and I I think it's supposed to come this week or next week. So I figured I could film us setting up that garden and combine it with footage of me setting up the other grow light situation to kind of just make this one massive, like here's my indoor garden setup video. <laughs> so that will be coming out soon, hopefully by the end of the month. But in the meantime, I'm just collecting all the seeds because I just literally want to grow everything. <laughs> 
So now onto the plant haul. I'm gonna start off with the plants that I got from Angus first. And one of them is this Philodendron White Princess. Now this one was one of the plants where I was like, mm, do I wanna spend that much money on such a tiny little plant? Um, but I did find one that has grown quite a bit and the variegation on the leaves is just absolutely gorgeous. And I was like, you know what? treat yourself. I don't have any philodendrons, yet alone really any plants that have variegation. I do have a pearls and jade pothos, but other than that, I don't really have any plants that look like this, and I figured it was pretty beautiful, so I got it. <laughs> I also got this cilia leopard lily. I just think the spots on it look so cool. It actually kind of reminds me of trout lilies, which you can forage for in the springtime. The girl at the nursery was telling me that um, depending on how much light these plants get, that will determine how many uh, little spots there are on each leaf. So if you can see on some of like the babier leaves that might not get as much sunlight as the bigger leaves, there's not as many spots compared to those ones. I just thought it was a really unique looking plant. And like I said, I was trying to branch out and get plants that I don't own and I figured this this one was perfect. Bit of a funny story. So while I technically only bought two plants from Angus, I came home with three. <laughs> I don't know if they were just trying to clear out their holiday stuff, um, but I now have a point set up. <laughs> when I was paying for the other two plants up at the register, the girl was just like, this is a gift for you. And she like put it in my basket. I do have to say, I feel a little bad um, because obviously at the time, I'm not just going to reject something that someone wants to give to me, but I personally really don't like poinsettia plants. I'm just personally not a fan of the way they look and not to mention they are also super toxic to pets and we have both a cat and a dog. So I think I might try to rehome this plant because it was really sweet that she gave it to me, but I just don't think it's a good fit for our place. In the meantime, I'm gonna put it somewhere very high where neither of our animals can reach it because I don't want them eating this and getting very sick. But if anyone from Angus is watching, thank you so much for giving it to me. I really do appreciate it. And to its credit, the kind of blotchy pink colors on this one does actually look pretty cool. So now moving on to the plants that I got from Sheridan Nurseries, I'm going to start off with my little air plants. Now I already have, I think, two air plants that look exactly like this, but I'm just a huge fan of the way this one is shaped. It's really nice and round and full. And then I got this one because I thought it was really cool with like the coloring. You can see it's kind of like this maroon burgundy color at the top. And also not to mention, but it actually has two little pups on it. So technically I'm getting three air plants for the price of one. For Christmas, my friend gave me these two little planters. One is a pug and one is a cat, and they both look exactly like our pets. And they're not really deep enough to put anything into. I actually wonder if they're supposed to be candle holders, but I thought it would look kind of cool if, you know, maybe there was just like a little air plant sitting in there. Ben, what do you think? Who is this? Did you replace me with another pug? Get him out of my face. Next, I got this golden barrel cactus. It is extremely sharp, and yes, I have poked myself on it like five times already. I don't know what it is. I never really used to be into succulents or cacti, but now I'm just obsessed with them. I think maybe ever since my friend got me my booby cactus, I was like, there's some pretty cool ones out there. And I mean, this one is like pretty basic, but like it just spoke to me with like how perfectly round and plump it is. And like for $10, might as well. I also got this string of spades. This one is going to be replacing a plant that hasn't quite died yet. I'll go grab it so I can show you what I'm talking about. So this is the plant that is going to be replaced. It is a Pilea glauca or Pilea aqua. I can't quite remember. But yeah, as you can see, it's like not doing so hot. It's like, ugh. <laughs> but this one is going to be replaced with this one. And I am going to try and propagate this one, but as you can see, it's really not doing so well. And even as I'm like holding it, there's like pieces that are falling off like this, completely dead. Maybe I can like try and propagate that little end of it. But either way, I'm going to be taking it out of this container and putting this one in because I still wanted something that kind of like trailed because if you can see, it's a little, little kitty cat. And I thought it'd be cute to, you know, give it a little bit of hair. And lastly, I have this Fatsia japonica spiderweb. I'm like 99% sure I'm not saying that right. 
This is a plant I have never seen before and I have zero knowledge of this type of plant, which arguably is not a good thing to just buy plants on a whim because they look cool because you might not be able to provide the proper care it needs. But I did do a quick Google search when I was in the store and these guys seem fairly easy to care for. But like the philodendron, I just really like the variegation on it and I figured it could be something unique to brighten up my space. And I also like how the leaves kind of look like maple leaves. So those are all the plants that I got for my new year plant haul. I hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with me and seeing what I got. If you have any care recommendations or tips for the plants that I purchased, I would love to hear about them in the comments. And also while you're down there commenting, feel free to let me know what plants you wanna buy this year or if there's any plants that you think I should buy this year because who doesn't wanna go plant shopping? <laughs> Anyways, that's all for today's video and I will hopefully see you guys in a few weeks when we have our hydroponic garden system set up. Like and subscribe, I'll see you later. Bye.